Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how you can make an assignment like this in Canva and then push it out to your students really easily. So here's the context. Um, I went to Canva and decided that I wanted to make an interactive assignment for my students. So I looked through Canva, I found one of their templates that I liked for graphic organizers. Um, I went over here, I made a couple of changes, added a few things, changed a couple of things, and now I'm ready to share this out with my students um, to, uh, to my class. So um, here is the easiest way to get something that you have made in Canva out to your students. I'm gonna recommend that you go up to the share button in the upper right hand corner, click that. And then a word of caution, you're gonna be tempted to click this Google Classroom button. Don't click that button, I'll explain why in a second. The one that you really wanna click is this assignment button over here instead, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna click assignment, and then it's going to say, OK, we can turn this into an assignment for you. Um, please pick where students are going to be submitting their work. We're going to pick Google Classroom because that's our learning management system here in Redlands Unified. Um, Canva already knows about my Google account because I'm logged in with my redlandschools.net account. So those two things will talk to each other. That's pretty nice. And then here's the key part down here, share as. If you click this drop down, this is going to look very familiar to you because it's kind of like in Google Classroom when you have that option to decide. Um, what do you want to do with this file that you're attaching? Is it a um, all students can view or all students can edit this one together or make a copy for each student? So here's the terminology in Canva. Um, the first option is new design for each student. That's the one that I want because that'll take this design that I made over here and it'll make a copy for each one of my students. It'll kind of turn it into a template. And then each one of my students can edit this and add their own main ideas, their own supporting details and ultimately turn that into me. So I'm gonna be picking that in a second. But your other options are instructions only, that would be view only mode if you just want students to see the thing that you've made in Canva. Or if you scroll down with a little scroll ball, you'll see your third option is work on this design. And this would be great for collaboration if you wanted all students together on this one Canva document, um, adding their own pieces to it and modifying it. So uh, for this, I'm gonna pick new design for each student. That's the right thing for this context. Um, once you click that, then you're going to click the publish button and Canva behind the scenes will change all the sharing permissions and turn this into a template link um, to post in Google Classroom for you. So we're going to click publish and then we're going to get this little pop up and this probably looks pretty familiar to you. You're going to pick which Google Classroom you want to send this to. So I'm going to send it over here to Mr. Rothy's class. Um, what do we want to do? We want to create an assignment with this. You could also uh, use this like as create material or make an announcement, but assignment is correct for this context. I'm going to click go. You're then going to get this little pop up window here. Let me expand the size. This should also look familiar to you. This is just the standard Google Classroom um, assignment window. So give this thing a title. We're going to call this thing um, assignment 12 for this class. Add some instructions if you want. Notice Canva took care of the link and this link is a template link. When students click this link, they'll be prompted to make their own copy of the template. So that's kind of nice. Um, due date, I highly recommend that you put in a due date for all of these. We're going to make sure that this thing is due on Friday. Um, and then uh, topic for this one, this is going to be ELA. So I'm going to get that. Um, set your points for this. I'm going to say 200, or sorry, 200. I'm going to say 20 points for this. Um, and then close submissions after due date. I will accept late work for this one, so I'm not going to click that. And uh, now I'm going to click assign. Once you click assign, um, it will automatically make this assignment in your Google Classroom for you. And all you have to do is click the view button to pop you over here to your Google Classroom. And then you'll notice that assignment is here. So here, uh, Kayla Brothy has posted a new assignment, assignment 12. When I open that up, this is gonna look very familiar to you, uh, just like if you had made an assignment in Classroom yourself. Um, the next thing that I wanna show you is what this is gonna look like on the student's end. Okay, so I am now over here in uh, Google Classroom as a student, and I can see my teacher has posted a new assignment, so assignment 12 over here. When I click that, you'll notice what the students get over here is a link out to Canva. And then um, as a student, when I click this Canva link, it takes me over to canva.com, and it gives me this screen over here. It says, hey, a template has been created by my teacher, um, and I can start designing now. And then as a student, I get this button down here that says, use this template that my teacher created for a new design. So that's basically kind of like a make a copy button over here. When I click this as a student, it makes a copy 
of my teacher's uh, template. You'll see it's even called up here, copy of main idea graphic organizer. And then as a student, I can edit these. I can take things off. Um, I can go over to the text feature and I can start to add uh, body text and add my ideas over here. And so uh, now as a student, I have this as a jumping off point. I can customize it. I can make it fantastic and get it ready to turn in. Now let's talk about the turning in part of this over here, because you'll notice if I click the share button up here, there is the ability for students to share this back to Google Classroom. But I want to caution you right now, this is not the best practice for students to turn it in. Why? Because you'll end up in Google Classroom with 30 to 35 links back to Canva pages where you can then click to edit their template. And that's not the way that you want to do it. So instead, here's what we recommend. Um, teach students, once they're done with building something in Canva, teach them how to go up to share, teach them how to go down here to the download option, and then talk to them about what file type you would like them to download their assignment as. So two good choices are PNGs. Oh, let's try that again. Two good choices are PNGs or JPEGs if you want the students to turn it in as an image or you want them to use it as an image somewhere else. Or if you want them to turn it in as a PDF, you can also have students generate this as a standard PDF. Um, that's really the, the best uh, if you're going to do digital. And if you need really high quality, you can do the PDF print option. So uh, teach students how to download it first. And then once it's downloaded, then they can hop back over here to Google Classroom and you can have them go up here to the add button. And then you can have them add either the file that they've downloaded to their computer or if they downloaded it and put it in their Google Drive already, they can just add it from their Google Drive. So two different options depending on where they saved their file. Um, that way, when they turn it into you, you will have a dashboard with, um, you know, let's say 25 to 35 different icons of images or PDFs rather than 25 to 35 links that you have to click on. Um, and that'll, you know, take you back out to Canva. So that's it. That's the practice for um, making a template, pushing it out to students, having students make a copy of it automatically, and then uh, teaching students how to download and turn it in afterwards. I hope that helps.